Growing up, I have experienced um, multiple instances of stereotyping. I kept being told life isn't fair, get over it. I don't like that answer at all. I still don't like it. I was from a small school, and so being a multiracial, we had a teacher who did not approve of that. At that point in time, you kind of rotated through the rows of class, so you'd move up each week and then you'd move back and move up. There were three other people in the class. We never moved from the back row. I was in a, a field that was very male dominated. And so I think people looked at me and didn't see someone who could, who could, you know, do science. Um, when I sat down for an interview with one of my professors and they proceeded to tell me how they didn't think that I would make it through the program because I would end up like everyone else um, in my group. Oh, I think probably all of us have been, um, have stereotyped people. Hopefully, yes. I think all of us have learned that, you know, we just simply can't make those um, predispositions. It is something that I think we all struggle with. Um, we have innate, you know, responses to people. And we just have to remember to catch ourselves and remember what a person um, is really about is not what they look like. There is learning opportunity there. Not everybody's the same. My personal definition of inclusion is a seat at the table and a voice, and that we all are able to tell our stories and share our experiences and be heard and believed. Looking at not only racial differences, ethnic differences, but also those who have a, a handicap or need a specific accommodation in a class. Adjusting what we do so that way they still reap the benefits of what we have to offer at Midland College. Just stop and listen. Look at someone, you've never walked a mile in their shoes before, so you don't know what, what they faced. And the biggest thing you can do is be kind. Including people more by not making assumptions, right? Getting to know people. You have to realize that everybody is a person don't be afraid to ask a question if you don't understand um, someone's beliefs or values or why they do the things that they do. I think it's very important that we ask those questions and get an understanding. The only way we can do that is to educate ourselves. It's all about education. The more that we know, the more that we understand about history, um, we can't understand the future until we really do understand the history. To be an advocate for others, you have to have a voice. Um, you can't sit in the back row. You've got to be able to stand up. You have to be able to stand firm. My name is Sheena Thompson. I am the program chair for the kinesiology department. I'm Terry Gilmore and I teach government here at Midland College. Hi, I'm Miranda Pogue. I am the Dean of Math and Science. I'm Erin Casey Richardson, Associate Director of Scholarships at Midland College. Hi, I'm Sandra Richards. I'm a professor of government here at Midland College. Hi, my name is Ty Solis. I'm the Residence Life Director at Midland College. I decided to join the Equity Committee um, because I know what it means to be in the room and feel like you're the only one. As a political scientist and as a feminist, the issues of diversity and inclusion have always been priorities for me. I joined the Equity Committee because it's important for me to create a safe environment where we can listen to and learn from one another's experiences. It's important for everyone to feel valued and respected. I joined the Equity Committee because I really believe every person needs to have a seat at the table and needs to have their voice heard. Um, I joined the Equity Committee um, to bring value and support to the different cultures that we have here on campus and then also to provide direction and leadership um, in equity, diversity, and inclusion and the events that we have on campus. We're dedicated to creating a safe environment for everyone. I'd really like to encourage students to become part of the equity um, conversation because it's really important that we hear your voices and that we understand your perspective. We need your voices to be heard as well so that everyone again has their voice heard and has a seat at the table and so while we'll always do our best we would appreciate as much input as possible if you want to challenge yourself and be a part of the change come and join us and together we can make mc a better place we are working for all of you we do not want a single individual associated with midland college to feel alone 
isolated, disenfranchised, marginalized, unsafe, or unwelcome. Is this going to be a huge task? Absolutely. Is it going to happen tomorrow? Probably not. But we're on our way to getting there. Does this mean we are going to agree on everything? Of course not. What it does mean is that when we have these courageous conversations about difficult issues, we listen to each other and treat each other with respect. If each of us makes an effort to make the experience at Midland College a good one for ourselves and others, we inch closer and closer to accomplishing the mission of the Equity Committee. The members of the Equity Committee are all volunteers who are committed to the work of making Midland College an equitable, diverse, and inclusive campus where all feel welcome, respected, and heard.